Hey, I'm on the metal shirt, bad, bad, do bad, yes. I do metal lorry beating, bad, bad, do bad, yes. I'm on the metal shirt, bad, bad, do bad, yes. I do metal lorry beating, bad, bad, do bad, yes. Oh yeah, bad, bad, do bad, yes. Bad, bad, do bad, yes. Oh yeah, bad, bad, do bad, yes. 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 Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of On the Couch with Abby. Of course, I'm your host, Abby Demi Tyro. So on today's episode, on today's special episode, I have, I'm so, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited to have the baddest guy, <laughs> Mr. JJ. <coughs> Bad, bad, oh, baddest. <coughs> Mr. Fals. Baddest guy. Sorry, Faz the bad guy. That's correct. Welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, first bad guy is in the building. Uh, I'm just relaxed and chilling here on the couch. <laughs> on the couch? The very famous couch. <laughs> so how are you, Faz? Welcome again to Dublin. To Dublin Thank you Island. so much. Thank you. Thank you. So of course, having studied, studied um, you studied in Redden, um, you're not, um, this is, you know, you're very familiar with the UK, but this is your first time in Ireland. Yeah. Um, so how's it been so far for you? So nice, so nice. Uh, when I observed the setting, I noticed that, it's, uh, that it's, uh, there's something like the ambience in this place <laughs> that just at least just made me to feel comfortable. I just feel at home. Uh, yeah. It's compulsory that in the nice for sure I will still return here. Right, okay. Well, I'm enjoying okay. myself so much. Good, so we'll much. be glad to have you here again. Of course, I'll be back. Okay. I'll be back. Right, so it was um, Adekunle Gold's um, One Night Stand show, and of course, you performed as well. As in the, the fans, they were going crazy. They were literally belting out to all your heats. Were you expecting that kind of love from Dublin? Did you think you have a great fan base here? Mad, so mad, so wonderful, uh, so much exciting. In fact, I didn't really expect it. The amount of love that I received from the crowd on the, the energy level is not mm. something that somebody can anticipate. I get to me. Mm. Uh, one night stand. Particularly gold being the headline uh, yeah. act for the concert. I was mm -hmm. just out here to support him. Support, man. yeah. It was mad. It was so crazy. Definitely have to come back to, you know, to my own concert. Very, very soon. Right. It's in the plans. We're working on it. Yeah. Just need to put the finishing touches Touch. to it. Finishing touches Of course, of course. In the Naira's for sure. I promise. Okay. Okay. Yes. okay. Let's go. Yes. All right. So where did you get the name? Files the bad guy. Where did that name come from? Just reputation. Uh, based on accomplishment in the past time. Oh. I get to me. Since I've done. Okay. I don't think, I guess, because people do know me for this kind of character. Mm. Yes. And we're actually going to that, because I know you have an alter ego, um, but Ataju. Yes, Tell but me more about that. But Ataju is a character that has a mind of his own. Every, <laughs> every now and then, he do interrupt proceeding. Nobody do call him, but then right. just come when he feel like it. He's not really nobody, as in nobody contact him, but they just show up. I don't know whether you understand that kind of thing. I think I'm understanding. Uh, hey, so much people like that, they just intrude your privacy and nothing you can really do about it right. just have to tolerate them okay yes that's interesting so are we actually going to be able to get to see the real file files you know i want to actually hear you talk properly this is a real files no this is not the real files. this is but i thought you is it <laughs> what are you sipping on there oh uh, just um <laughs> some dairy products dairy products yeah it's um more of uh all chocolate Oh, chocolate. Yeah, because the weather is good, so at least something to warm my body. Okay, that's yeah, nice. I'm not used to European weather. Um, based in Nigeria, as you already know, so yeah. the heat in that place is much. I know. Right, I so know. taking things more seriously, Files. Yes. All right. So how has your personality reflected in your work? Because I feel like, you know, I, I want to see Files himself. <laughs> Sorry, for Larry. Mm. I think... <coughs> <laughs> I think my... <laughs> Are you okay over there? <laughs> I, I think my, um, I think my personality reflects in my work as a person. I'm a, I'm a, an incredibly analytical mind. Right. So uh, with with lyrics, mm. you know, with music, with the, the themes, the different themes that I write about, yeah. you know, you'd see that okay, there's a lot of deep thought that goes into my music and mm. my. Uh, and uh, you know my songs, so that that I think is how most my uh, personality reflects Reflect in my music. From. So you don't like to refer to yourself as a comedian. Why? Why is that? 
Um, I wouldn't say that I'm a comedian. I would say that I'm a, I'm a comic. I'm a funny personality. Mm. I'm a crazy person. You know, there's a little bit of a lunatic every now and then, depending on weather. Um, I'm a, I'm an actor, mm -hmm. mostly in comic roles. Mm. But you never see me doing stand-up comedy, for yeah. example. Yeah. You know, that I think probably is the major reason why I wouldn't refer to myself as a comedian. Right, okay. People, some people still refer to me as a comedian. Yeah. I mean, a comedian, I guess, is anyone that, you know, does or, uh, you know, puts out content that is funny. Mm. You know, I do that, so mm. I guess yeah, okay. you can call me that too. So we can call you a comedian. All right. So are there any other hidden talent that we don't know of yet? Oh, of course. Of course. Um, Professional in a bedroom area. <laughs> What's for? Why are you laughing? What do you know that I'm doing in the bedroom? <laughs> I'm professional in praying in bedroom. In praying, yes. yeah, right. I do say my prayer there um, every morning. Well, you can pray anywhere, night. so you're being cheeky. I'm just telling you that bedroom prayer, that's the stronger one. Yeah. I'm very good in that one. Of course, you don't know, a bedroom prayer is not normal prayer. The one that you do in church. Many people there. You could be on the couch, like we're sitting on the couch right now. Yes. You could be praying on the couch. You can, of course, you can, you can pray on the couch, on, on the ground, on your knees, on your. I was still talking about the same prayer because now I'm lost. Because I'm lost as well. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm talking about the same thing. Yes. Are yes. we on the same page? I'm talking about the only prayer. Pray okay. To the Almighty God. God, yes. Yes, right. Okay. Right. So. Obviously, your father is a senior advocate of Nigeria, he's a human rights lawyer um, and an activist. So, mm -hmm. did you feel like you had to live up to that growing up? Of course, a lot of pressure growing up, you know, right ever since I was a kid. You know, um, people already expected me to sort of uh, follow his footsteps because mm. he was already uh, such an accomplished personality mm. and a renowned activist. Mm. So, that uh, was already pressure, but mm. you know, I definitely saw him as a role model. Mm -hmm. Wanted to follow his footsteps. I went on yeah. to study to become a barrister. Yeah. And, uh, you know. But along the line, uh, eventually, uh, the music cast of uh, Entertainment of a Team just come to really capture me mm. and grab me away from the legal world. Okay. And I find myself now uh, it's a little bit of a rascal in uh, this Entertainment of a Team. Okay. It was slightly unfortunate. So I learned that it was actually um, very supportive um, compared to your mother, your, your, your dad. No, both, both, both of them have been supportive, to be honest. Um, you know, they've both been supportive from the get-go to now. Um, you know, the only thing that they've been particular about, mm. you know, is just me making sure that uh, education-wise, yeah. I uh, sort of completed that. Yeah. Uh, when I did, now I... Uh, was officially called to the bar in uh, February 2012 as a barrister and solicitor of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Nigeria. I think uh, they were very proud of me. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I was proud of myself. And I'm sure they're still proud of you now as well. I believe so. so would you would you ever go back to you know to you know going to court and and working as a lawyer in Nigeria? Possibly, possibly sometime in future. Uh, it's about it's all about finding the right um the right balance and finding a way to the way to go back. You yeah. know, you can't I can't just go back to regular litigation. Yeah, of you know, course. Trying to find You're a not fast the bad guys, so exactly. it doesn't really But the, the way that I can sort of marry the two worlds, mm. you know, I'm trying to look for a way to uh, establish a practice in maybe entertainment law or that would be a good one. Intellectual property. Yeah. You know, something that mm. I see along the lines of this work that we are doing. You still make use of your Of course. So just the way that we can mix everything up, uh, All right. you know, still within the same, the same vein. All right, interested. Yes. Yes. Right. So I know your dad was um, represented Fela Kuti. Yes. Um, for over a decade, and of course, Femi Kuti was performing, performed live in Dublin. Oh yeah. Um, just pa this past Saturday. So how did you feel about that, you know, being, I mean, of, of course, I'm sure you've seen Femi Kuti perform so many times, but this is not Nigeria. This is a different setting entirely. So mm. how, how did you feel about that? It was mad. It was mad. It was a great experience. You mm. know. I'm a big fan of his as well. So 
it was lovely to be there to witness uh, the magic. And, um, you know, it was, uh, he's still so energetic, yeah. you know, regardless of age. You know, he's still so electric on yeah. stage. And, you know, it was mad. The crowd was going crazy. And yeah. uh, I found that the crowd was, majority of the crowd was, yeah. was foreign. Yeah, Caucasians, you know? <laughs> yeah. So uh, it, was, it was very good to see uh, the, the, the way that his music has sort of traveled. Yeah. It was really nice. Lovely, yeah, absolutely. So would you say, um, of course, you know, times are different. Um, would you say being, you know, growing up and your dad be working, you know, being um, Fela Kuti's lawyer, would you say that influenced you? Of course. Musically? Of course, definitely. Um, a lot, you know. A lot. Okay. Fela Kuti is a huge uh, influence on my music. Uh, he... I, I listened to a lot of his records oh, okay. growing up. You know, my dad made us yeah. listen to a lot of his records. Because uh, not only was he, was he his lawyer, he was a big fan of his um, as well. So, you know, he played a lot of his stuff. Uh, you know, we sort of digested mm. that stuff. And that, I think, translates into my music in the yeah. sense that Fela was such a storyteller. Mm. You know, with my music, if you listen and pay attention, that is me. Okay. You know, I... I like to paint pictures, I like to tell stories, I like to focus on substance, music with substance. Substance, yeah. Powerful music. That's great. Yeah. Right, so I was actually had Femi Kuti on the couch as well um, on Saturday. It sounds a bit um, dodgy when you say I had Femi Kuti on the couch. Oh my god, what? It's like. It sounds a little bit dodgy. <laughs> So Who's dodgy about that? I, I had him on the couch, like on the couch with Abby. Okay. <laughs> Sips tea. Sips tea. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but of course, you know what I mean. Stop being cheeky. <laughs> I don't know what to mean. You tell me. <laughs> he was on the chair sitting beside me. Good stuff. And we had an interview just like this one. Okay. Just normal interview. Just normal interview. Okay, that's good. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so, and he said something to me. He said, you know what, he wishes, you know, in this generation that more musicians or more artists would actually pick up a musical instrument. Mm. And I thought, wow, mm. that's, that's quite deep because we, you hardly see that. Mm. What, what, do you, what do you have to say about that? Is it not late? Is it not what? A bit late. I mean, to pick up an instrument. <laughs> <laughs> No, I think um, it's never late. I think with every artist, you know, it, it depends on your sound, yeah, on your kind of music, you know, and uh, how you play when you perform live, especially. Yeah. You know, not all artists play instruments. Of course. And, uh, pass on my leg. Oh, hi, my slave. Um, I'm not bad on the drums. Mm. I guess. But then. When it comes to anything like guitar, guitar. piano, all this thing, <laughs> trumpet, saxophone, that's not really my area. I guess mm. I mean, I want to place focus on guitar because I believe that guitar, 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 guitar. Yeah, place my focus on it because I believe that if you can able to play this thing, then that is a special happy that you mm. give. So I really want to learn it. Okay. Yes. So when are you going to start learning how to play guitar? I'm working on it. I just need to find a t-shirt first. A t-shirt, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you get one. Right, so we're going to go a little bit personal. Okay. I know obviously this was going on for, for a long time. You and Simi, you and Simi. And trust me, I'm not going to ask you if you are dating Simi because I know you're not. Okay, that's so good. who are you dating? I'm glad you know. Who's, who's the lucky girl? Uh, it's not unfortunate. That you're not going to tell me. That I don't have. You're single. So the single. Lie. Single to stupor. Single to stupor. Why? Because um. A fine guy like this. Oh, thank you so much. A fine guy like this. Like, uh, I don't make any devil. Uh, there is a certain soap I'm using now. Yeah. I, I think it's working. Um, I can also recommend it for you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not that you are. No, you are already fine. So you're telling me that I'm not fresh enough. No, 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 no. It's can even April for that. Bothered. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, I don't have anyone that I'm seeing right now. I'm just. All right. Okay. So you heard it on the couch with Abby. Single. Fowls is single and single ready to mingle. Ladies, please all our contact me. Then in touch. I'll dive in my DM. 
through by means of Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. Okay. So if, you, if they dive in your DM, where are you gonna respond to them? Anything can happen. <laughs> Banky W met his bride in the DM. Okay. <laughs> Who am I? Just a young guy. It's gonna happen to me too. So, so, so you're single. So everyone, yeah. Faz is single and ready to mingle, as I said earlier. Mm. So, what type of ladies are you into? Do you like them light, dark, um, thick, slim? Uh, often time, How? often time, they really matter. They really matter. I uh, didn't really focus on that stuff. I just, um, just my only focus in this life is a woman bosom. Bosom. I just like a woman that has bosom. At okay. least something that is capable of grabs and getting me up. In this life. You heard? In this okay. life. Okay. There's a woman with big bosoms, you know. So, something, I can say I have big bosoms. Something very capable of grabs and. <laughs> <laughs> Before I, 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 oh my God. I am like this, uh -huh. I guess I mean, I'm not sexually happy. So, I need a woman that can deflower me. Oh, please! Somewhere that can disveg me in that area, and then. <laughs> particularly, my preference is just that bosom. It's the bosom. Mm, Alright, okay, so do you have anything to say to your Dublin fans before you go? Um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting Brand Fast, the bad guy. More fire coming. Watch out for my third solo album yeah. coming out this year, 2017. Gang, gang. Okay. Find us like we have ballast. Yeah, we drop our bubble if it's wet galish. We came through in that Mercedes. Uh, mama, look at how we made it. Hey, they need to look on some ladies. Yeah, we they turn up on the daily. Uh, we came through in that Mercedes. Hey, mama, look at how we made it. Uh, they need to look on some ladies. Yeah, we they turn up on the daily. It's how I walk up. Uh, yeah, 